We're here today in New York City with Drs. Roizen and Oz, the authors of You, the Owner's Manual. Doctors, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank, thank you. you. Doctors, what made you write You, the Owner's Manual? Both of us are practicing physicians, and we spend our lives talking to people about significant problems in their lives. And frequently, we're dismayed to find that they don't really have a fundamental understanding of their own bodies. And that's a big challenge for us, because we can start talking up here, but if they don't have the foundation, they're not going to get it. And I think that's one of the biggest challenges we have today in medicine. We've decoupled the American public's knowledge of health from what doctors know. So the book is an effort to take America back to medical school and to capture those eureka moments that we have when we train and share with America how much fun the human body can be. What makes you, the book, so different and, and why is this a must-have for everyone? I, I think one of the reasons the book has been different enough to bust through the clutter is that unlike a lot of treatises about your health, it's not sour, it's not dour, it's an upbeat message and it's empowering. Because we're telling you, first of all, that the body is a lot of fun, if you understand it. And secondly, you can do a lot of things to make it function even better. It's not just about avoiding disease. It's about living more vitally. You should know as much about your body as you do about your toilet. If your toilet stops up, you use a plunger, you don't first thing call the plumber. Well, you ought to know how to prevent those plunger mess-ups in your own body. And that's what we try and do, to show you how you can do as much preventive maintenance on your body as you do on your toilet. What are the three most important things that people can do to take care of themselves? The first is do 30 minutes of walking a day. There's a snowstorm, walk 30 minutes a day. Hurricane, walk 30 minutes a day. Earthquake, walk 30 minutes a day. You get the message, no matter what else is happening, walk 30 minutes a day. Secondly, know your blood pressure inexpensive device that you can get at most pharmacies. You don't need to have it done at a physician's office. It should be 115 over 75. And again, there are a lot of easy things you can do to control your blood pressure. Third, change your diet a little bit. If you don't have omega-3 fatty acids in it from fish or something else, add some walnuts, another easy way of making yourself younger. You know, there's so many numbers to keep track of. Which ones do I really need to know about? Well, first, let's bust some myths about numbers. Most folks concentrate on their cholesterol. Well, guess what? That's not that important. How it's carried is important, but the absolute cholesterol number isn't. What is important is your blood pressure. It ought to be 115 over 75, not below 140 over 90, which is where most people get panicky, but actually 115 over 75. And another important number that most people don't think about that much, but it's absolutely essential, is your waist size. And you know what? You can't trust your belt because you cheat. You drop the belt below your belly button. If you actually measure yourself at your waist, where your belly button is, if it's greater than 39 inches, you have a seven-fold higher chance of developing chronic ailments like diabetes. Well, you know, doctors, cartoons are not really your typical health illustrations. What is up with that? Well, we realized very early on that we have to get medicine to come alive for people. And the best way to do that is with cartoons. That's especially true for men. Yeah, but most of the health messages that we create are read by women. That's always been the case. It's so uncommon for a male to actually sit down, read the book, and become more proactive in their wellness. So if we're going to move beyond women and help, in fact, women educate their men about their health, we're going to have to make messages that appeal to men. And pictures work well with men. Doctors, what actually causes aging? We don't really know the actual cause of aging but we know what makes us feel old and what actually causes us to act old. Three systems, are our arteries get old, that's heart disease, stroke, memory loss, impotence, decay in orgasm quality, wrinkling of your skin. Whether they're the arteries to your heart or the arteries to the go your gonads, they're your arteries and they make you feel old if they get old. So one, keep your arteries young. Two, it is our immune system. If our immune system fails, we can get autoimmune disease or on the other end, infections and cancer. And we go through a lot of things you can do to prevent those. And the third is environmental uh, effects, if you will. Falling down, breaking a bone, secondhand smoke. Those things also make you feel old and be old, and there are ways of managing them as well so that they don't make you old. But he's not going to tell you how to do it, so you got to read the book. Hey, that, that's my line. <laughs> Now, you've asked us a lot of questions. Yes. It's our turn to ask you one. Yes. Why did you never ask Rachel out? 
<laughs> Our guests are Drs. Roizen and Oz, the authors of You, the Owner's Manual. It is a fantastic book for your own personal health and the health of those around you. So pick up your copy today and read the book.